Hi, my name is John Carruthers. I'm here today to show you how to string your Floyd Rose tremolo system. I've worked with most of the major manufacturers for the last 45 years. If you'd like to learn in more detail about the procedures used in today's videos, you can get a copy of my book on Alfred Publishing, Teach Yourself Guitar Repair and Maintenance. As you know, if you've tried doing it, it's very difficult, especially if you don't follow the right procedures. If you you know, take off one string, all the rest of the strings go out of tune and it becomes very frustrating trying to get the trim back in tune again. So I have a few tricks to show you that makes it a lot easier. So step one, before you do anything, get something like an eraser or perhaps a piece of wine cork, something like that, that you can put under the back of the tremolo. So we basically push down on the arm, we insert this under the trim, and now that stabilizes the tremolo so that even if I remove the strings, all the rest of the strings will stay relatively in tune. Once we've done that, then we go up to the headstock and we loosen the nut cap. And we basically want to just take that out of the way because it's in our way as far as restraining. We'll put it back on after. Okay, so I'm just going to set that over here out of the way. Now we can detune the string. And we can clip off the string itself. We'll go over here and we'll remove that end from the tuning machine. And then we'll go down here and we'll release the clamp block. Once we release the clamp block, then we'll be able to pull the string out. Okay, so we'll take that and get it out of the way. Now what we need to do is we need to get a new string. So we pick our set here, and we'll pull out the one that we need. You notice on the bottom it's marked with the gauge, so we don't confuse that with any other one. Now we carefully unwind it so as not to injure ourselves. Now what we have to do is we actually have to trim off the ball in, but we want to go past the overwinding. So we go past the overwinding and then we trim off the excess. Now we go down here and we insert the string. We want to get it right in the middle of the slot and then we're going to take and cinch up the clamp block to hold it in place. Now you got to be careful not to over tighten it. Some people actually tighten it so tight that they break the mechanism and then they have to replace the whole saddle assembly. We don't want to do that. So now we come down here and we want to see how much slack we need. So basically what we do is we go about two inches past the cap stand and that's usually adequate amount of slack. Now then we take and we just bend the end at 90 degrees and now we take our side cutters and we trim off oh, any, all of, except for maybe half an inch. Now we can take the string and we can insert it in the hole in the cap stand until it goes down and now we can wind the remainder onto the cap stand. It's always good to try and keep a little tension on the string as you're winding it so that there isn't slack built in. Now you notice I put it under the string tree. I always want to make sure you get it under there. And the reason that retainer is on there is to keep the string down so that the string rests fully in the nut. That way when you put the clamp block on and tighten it up, it doesn't throw the guitar out of tune. If the string was to be higher up and you tighten it down, you would actually sharpen the note substantially. Now once we get it tuned, we can take the Eraser out. Now listen to it. So what we want to do now is we want to take up the slack on the string. So we want to pre-stretch it by just bending a little out of a line like this. And then we'll retune. And we'll keep doing that until it stays in pitch. Now on the fine tuners back here, you want to back them out if they're all the way down. If they're too far up, then you'll run out of adjustment in the other direction. So you need to have just a little bit at the top, but you need most of it at the bottom because as you play, the strings tend to get flat and you need to be able to adjust the tuner to sharpen them back to pitch. So once you get the fine tuner adjusted, retune it. Now we basically take the nut cap and we put that back in place and we make sure it's oriented the right way. It has like two flat spots on the bottom of the nut cap and the flat spots have to go across the strings. And so it looks like the roof on a house and I want the little peak of the roof to be parallel to the string alignment. And then once we get that in place, we carefully cinch that up again. Don't get too crazy with the wrench, just kind of cinch it up till it's firm. You could actually strip out the threads if you over tighten it. Then we can just readjust it 
and you're ready to go. Then move on to the next string. If you do one string at a time, you'll have the best results because if you do them all at once, it may go more out of tune. Once you're there, you remove the eraser and you're ready to play.